This is 29th question from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question says for the circuit shown below the equivalent resistance will be. So whenever you come across the circuits like this you have to name the nodes right. This is node A, this is B, this is C and this is D. We have A, B, C and D and if you can see the wire that is connecting A and C is not a resistive wire it's simply a wire. But whenever uh, and we know that whenever we solve a circuit equation if the resistance of the wire has not been mentioned we take it to be a short circuit meaning here node A is same as node C and node B is same as node D. By this logic we can rearrange this circuit and it is going to look something like this. Since we have got A and C to be equal I am going to take just A. Since B and D are equal I am going to take B here and between A and B right and between A and B we have got 12 ohms we have got 12 ohms and we have also got another 2 12 ohms and we have got another 12 ohms. So though from the circuit that has been given to us it is not clear that all the three resistances are actually parallel to each other but if we try to redraw the circuit we get them to be in parallel. So we have got three 12 ohm resistances in parallel. So we know this formula R equivalent when three equal resistances are in parallel we take the help of this formula R by 3 and since the value of R here is 12 so 12 by 3 is going to be equal to 4 ohms so we have 4 ohms in option C so option C is the right answer here.